We got a report of this animal at 9.30 this morning, and the injuries that she has are due to an entanglement with the rope. First time I saw Winter, I took one look at her, and I really didn't think she had a chance of surviving. The tail was the most striking part of her body that was so severely damaged. She was very, very critical. She wasn't moving a lot. I looked at her and thought, oh, this is a long shot. It's very hard to imagine this animal's gonna lose their tail because that's never happened before. We really had nothing to go on because there wasn't a dolphin without a tail. We put prosthetics on people. Why not a tail on a dolphin? There are so many different people of different expertise that truly came together without any ulterior motives. Everybody's doing it for the right reason. Winter has been an incredible inspiration to kids all over the world. She did everything just like how the dolphins can do, and I was very inspired with that. Winter went out into the pool, different from all the dolphins, and she didn't care who was looking at her. That's what Katrina brought home. I was having trouble wearing my prosthetic arm and leg. I saw her struggling to wear hers. She never gave up, and neither did I. She has a disability, and he has a disability. And I saw something I had never seen before. I saw connection. The similarities between Hope's Rescue and a winner's rescue was simply amazing and hard to believe. This is called ice. This is what winter in America feels like. Oh, and them's on that list. <laughs> yes, hello, this is Carrie. Pick up who? I'm just supposed to help them find jobs. You must be the guys from uh, Somalia. Senegal. 
so down. Did your luggage come down the chute? Great. Where is your husband? No, I'm not married. I provide for myself. Your survival skills are very impressive. Thanks. I'll call you tomorrow morning and we'll start the job hunt. I need your help. Are there any dangerous animals in this area? Such as? Lions. <laughs> no, there's no lions here. You're, you're safe. What's their story, anyway? I'm not sure. They seem pretty traumatized. Made my way to the borderline. I had 34 brothers and sisters, and they all died but one. And she need to be here with us. You don't have an appointment. Who do I have to screw around here to see an immigration supervisor? Me. Thanks, Cupcake. Give me bang, give me That's gonna be a problem. All flights from the Kakuma refugee camp have been stopped. Since 9-11, the program here is stopped indefinitely. She's a child refugee of war. You sure you're ready to take this on? Definitely. You're being asked to make choices no one should have to make. I don't think they're going to make it if they're not together. I will pray for you, Yard. Yard? It is a special name for you. It means great white cow. Well, it's better than a lot of things I've been called. There's a reason you do not have a husband. Okay, thank you so much. In the age of the dinosaurs, a family of tiny castaways was swept out to sea. They landed on a mysterious island and evolved into some of the most extraordinary animals you will ever meet. The lemurs of Madagascar. These ultimate survivors are now in danger. But a team of scientists are working to save our oldest living relatives. And the only place on Earth they call home. and IMAX invite you and your family on an amazing adventure to discover a real place you could never imagine and strange creatures you will never forget as they leap, sing, and dance their way into your heart. Madagascar.